Hey YouTube, it's Baseball10182 here. Um, this is a uh, recap of the cards that I bought this weekend. Um, I'm kind of down in uh, South Jersey. Uh, came up here for a uh, funeral for my uncle that passed away, but um, instead of you know drinking alcohol or something like that, I'm buying cards. So uh, I guess that's my way of coping with it. <laughs> I guess it's better than drinking or something, but. Um, these are the cards that I got. I'll recap them for you. You, um, we got three 2013 Top Series One hot packs. Um, one 2013 Gypsy Queen hot pack and two hot packs of 2012 Top Series Two. One of the Series Two hot packs was super duper hot, so I'll save that for last. Um, got a super rare card, so I'll show you that one last. Um, these are the inserts. David Wright. Drew Hutchison, Jose Altuve, The Relic, Chris Sale, Chasing History, Chasing History of Evan Longoria, and another Chasing History of Jason Hayward. As far as the Ginter goes, was, um, the minis, what? Uh, yeah, I'm just recording it. It cut off a minute ago. Um, Johnny Damon Black bordered insert, former Red Sox. Um, you got Tim Hudson, Igor Stravinsky, whoever the hell he is, um, a Nolan Ryan. These are the three uh, retail exclusive minis. You got a Nolan Ryan short printed one. Strasburg, I'm happy with. Can add that to my Nationals PC and Brennan Boish. And you got a baseball highlight sketches of Willie Mays' um, 1954 World Series catch. Um, you got what's in the name of Ryan Zimmerman. Short print of Adrian Beltre and a nice stack of base there. The Gypsy Queen. I got Jason Kipnis, um, Miguel Montero, and Matt Moore. Nice stack of base. And then these two minis were of Trevor Bauer and George Kell. I don't know who he is. Um, Gypsy Queen, glove stories of Mike Trout. Pretty cool. Um, dealing Aces insert of Johnny Cueto. A Gypsy Queen mini short print of another uh, Nolan Ryan. So we got that short print of Nolan Ryan and mini. And then that one, so that's pretty cool. Um, another short print of Mike Schmidt. And the relic here was of Colby Rasmus. That's pretty cool. Um, so now I'm going to show you this stuff. This was the stuff that I pulled the big hit out of. Um, I'm going to show you these cards here first. Got Pablo Sandoval and Tom Seaver, who you will see again here in just a second for the big hit. Um, those are the two minis. You got Eric Sogard, I guess that's the uh, gold card, and the Alex Gonzalez gold card. And you've got Miguel Cabrera career day and Yogi Berra career day. Nice stack of base. And I'll show you the first hit. The first hit was of uh, Starling Castro, which I was happy to get, but I already have one. So if you guys want to cut me a deal on that, I might be able to work something out with you. I've got two of those now with pinstripes, so just let me know if you want it. And then the big hit was this Mount Dominance relic of Tom Seaver, numbered to 50. That is sick. There's no other way to describe this card. That is just a sick card. Number 13 of 50, Mound Dominance, Relic of Tom Seaver. And that's what the back looks like. So, um, I mean, may not have scored too big in the first rack pack hit of that uh, hot pack, but the second one was... Uh, Second one was pretty damn sweet, so that's that. Um, we that relic. If you look at the odds here, I don't know how well you can even see these here, but that relic is right here, the tip of my thumb. Relic one in two thousand six hundred and thirty packs. So I've never broken the thousands and pulling cards, but. I did it retail, so number 13 of 50, Tom Seaver Relic. So, um, recap them again. Got 
Chris Sale, Evan Longoria, um, Jason Hayward. Got the Tom Seaver Mount Dominance relic. You've got um, Colby Rasmus, and that's about it. And then the uh, Starling Caster relic. So I um, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, check out some more of my other stuff. Subscribe and uh, just keep watching videos. Peace out.